Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. My name is Abira and today I'm going to be showing you guys what I purchased from Shein for my Pakistani Bridgerton themed birthday party. So I'm having a really, you know, intimate um, birthday party with my sisters and my cousins and I wanted to do it Bridgerton themed because I've been seeing a lot of those and I think they look super cute. So we're doing like a little tea party situation in the afternoon time and then we're gonna have dinner later but i wanted to show you guys a couple of the things that i purchased so this is what the room looks like so far <laughs> everything is all over the place because i unpacked a little bit but not all of it uh, so let me get started and show you guys what i got okay to start off i got a bunch of these little bouquets so the vibe is like very soft pastel colors um, so lots of white, lots of off-white, a little bit of pastel pink and purples and like pistachio colors I think will look very nice. So this is what the bouquet looks like and these are very inexpensive. You obviously have to open it up but this is what it looks like. So I got the bouquets in a beautiful purple color. I got pink and white. I ordered I think three of the purples, three of the pinks and then I ordered five whites because I feel like you can use whites. A little bit more i also got some balloons these are like pearly balloons so this is a pack of like 200 or something and this was only like two dollars and it's great because it comes with some tape and like the wires that you can use to make the garland blow one up for you guys <laughs> so this is what they look like i did want them to be a little less transparent and a little more pearly but I mean, for $2, if you're getting 200 balloons, I you can't really complain. So this is what it looks like. And I'm going to make the entire garland, and then I'll show you guys how the garland looks. Ah. I also purchased these. So this is a garland that will go across the dining table. So we're going to set up, because we're only um, six people and two kids. So we're going to set up um, a nice tablescape. So I purchased this to kind of put in the middle. So this is the vibe. This will go in the middle of the entire table and then the flowers, the bouquets I showed you earlier are just gonna go in like pieces of this to kind of add a little bit more color and a little bit more like texture to the entire table. So this is what I got. I got two of these because there's gonna be an actual dinner table where we're gonna eat and then there's gonna be a table with all of the food. So I kind of wanted to decorate the food table as well. So since it's Bridgerton, you have to have fans because everyone has fans. So I got these for the girls. These are the fans. I think they look so cute. So I just got a simple white material and there's lace inside. Then with like a lace border on top as well. So I thought they were so cute. Again, super inexpensive. I think they were like a dollar something each. And let me show you mine. Since I'm the birthday girl, mine is going to be a little bit different. So I got mine with uh, feathers on them. And I thought it was so cute. This one is not lace. It's just a regular fabric material. And then the feathers are just in the front. Let me put this back because the feathers are kind of falling everywhere. This, I'm very excited for it. This is a linen cloth material to put over the table. Ravel this and basically you can put it on the dinner table if it decides to open up. Okay, so basically we're just going to open it up and then you can place it on the dinner table. So this will go first and then I'm going to put the garland over this and then the bouquets over that. So that's kind of the vibe and then my favorite are these little bows so i got these little bows for the girls i thought they were so cute i got some bigger bows but i thought they just matched the whole bridgerton vibe so nicely i love the flares on this one but yeah these are the bows so i got six of them for the six of us and I think I might go with the pink one because my dress is pink, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, so I'm just going to give this to all of the girls and then they can wear the bows when they get here. Next, I got a couple of things for the goodie bags. So the goodie bags are have like 
you know, chocolate and candy and stuff um, because we love chocolate. <laughs> so I'm going to put chocolate in the goodie bag and I also got a mini perfume as well. And then I ordered these because I heard these are so good and one of my cousin already has used one and she loved it. So I got this for the goodie bag as well. So this is a She Glam blush set. So basically, this is what it looks like. It's super cute. And then when you open it, there are two different shades of blushes. So you have like a nice pinky and then a like a corally blush shade. And these are, I think, like powdery. They have a very cool texture to them. I also got handbags for the girls because I love handbags and I felt like that would be such a great gift to give the girls because I'm just so obsessed with this. So I, I feel like they'll also love it. And it's something that's very me, you know? Like they would definitely expect me to give handbags because of how much I love the handbags. This was the second one. This is also the She Glam Cheeky Color Jam. And this is also like a powdery type of blush. Let me show you guys. So this is what it looks like. It's very cute. And then once you open it, this is the color. It's a beautiful color and it's just great to kind of just put it over your makeup or even if you don't have any makeup on um, just for like a nice little cheeky color you can just put this on this is the remainder of the bouquets that i told you guys so i showed you guys the purple one this is the white one and then i got a pink one as well so once i actually open them and set them up on the table i feel like you'll you'll have a better idea moving on this this is so cool. So you can't really see exactly what this is in the bag, but I'll kind of show you guys. But this is basically just stems and then like white leaves hanging, like flowers hanging from the bottom of like this stem. And there are 12 stems in a pack. This I believe was like $11. And I think it looks beautiful. So the vibe for this is going to be like an arch. And then I'm going to hang this over the arch. So it looks like it's a very like flowery, gardeny type of feel. I got five of these because I wanted to make sure that I have enough for the entire um, garland. Not the garland, the entire like curve or whatever. These two I bought for the actual top of the curve. When we put these flowers on... You're going to see a lot of the stem on the top of like the curve and like on the sides of it. So I kind of wanted to get something to cover that up. So I got this. These are just basic leaves. So I'm just going to use this to cover up the top of the garland. I also got some candles. I wanted some tall candles. So I got these ones. This is so cool. This is the table balloon arch clip thing you can easily just clip this to the side of the table and then it'll make a whole arch like on your entire table so i'm gonna put this where the goodie bags are so i bought the pearl balloons for this you can make this as big as or as short as you want it because you just have to kind of assemble it with the pipes and the like connecting pipes but it was really cool and then this set is for the actual big arch that i purchased for the white flower stems that I got. I also ordered these bags. I thought these bags were so cute and it comes with this little ribbon here. These would be so cute for the goodie bags, but since I got handbags for the girls, handbags would not fit inside here. So I can't use this anymore. Instead of this, I decided to maybe get some boxes that I can put the handbags in or get other, you know, regular brown paper bags that I can just put the handbags in um, because this is too small. So I'm going to return these. And then I got this, which is a tablecloth for the table. But I was going to return it because I don't like how shiny it is. I didn't want it to be this shiny. So I was going to return it, but I have no time left and the party is actually tomorrow. <laughs> so I have to figure it out. So then I was thinking instead of putting the tablecloth out this way, the shiny way, I can just put it this way, which is not that shiny. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference, but I mean, we're going to work with it. You know, I, I don't ha I can't think of anything else. So we're going to have to make it work. I think that's all for the decoration. I'm going to show you guys now my dress. 
I ordered a couple of dresses, but I didn't like it. This is gonna be an all girls party, so we can wear anything we want. But I finally settled on this one, and that's why I say that this party is gonna be like a Bridgerton, like a Pakistani inspired Bridgerton party because you can, you can wear like uh, Pakistani clothes or you can wear like dresses. So this is my dress. I thought it was super, super cute. I'm not gonna show you guys too much of it because it's gonna be a surprise, but this is the dress. And I thought it was such a gorgeous, gorgeous color. It's a beautiful light rose gold color. And let me show you guys the sleeves because I'm obsessed with the sleeves. It's like a really long shirt type dress. But this is the sleeve. How pretty. It has these beautiful um, pearls on it and it goes with the vibe so well. I think it's gonna go perfect with the party. I'll try to show you guys like a little picture or something when I wear it. Um, since it's gonna be an all girls party, I'm not gonna be wearing my scarf, so yeah. Oh wait, I have, I have a couple of other things, hold on. I remember I got two shipments. Um, so this is more of the white stemmed flowers. And this is more of the other flowers. This is a cake like treat holder. So basically it's like this. And then you put the next one and then the next one. That's what it looks like. I thought it was really nice. It's made out of plastic, but our food is gonna be in like containers anyway, so we don't have to worry about that. And I also purchased a cake stand. So you're gonna put like you're gonna put the screws in through the bottom, and then you're gonna have this. And then you put the top plate on. So this is basically what it's going to look like. It's just a clear acrylic. It looks kind of foggy here because I didn't take off the like plastic that's on it yet. So it's going to be nice and clear. I got some cupcake liners, plain cupcake liners, because I'm going to be making cake pops at home. So I also got cake pop sticks. So I'm going to be making cake pops at home and I don't want to wrap them. What I'm going to do is when you like have the cake pop on top, I'm just going to put it like this in the cupcake liner. So that's that. I thought they were super cute. This is so cute. These are little toothpicks with pearls on them. Aren't they so adorable? So this is gonna go in like the sandwiches, stick a toothpick in the sandwich, or like just like a toothpick to eat other stuff with, I guess. Another pearly item is this. So these are napkin holders. You know when you have the cloth napkins? So these are little napkin rings, and these are also like little pearls. I thought they were so cute. And let me show you guys the napkins as well. I tried to match it with the tablecloth. So let me give you an idea. So this is like the napkin, right? So we're just gonna fold it up and then we're gonna put this over and you can just put it like this, like on the plate. <laughs> let me try to show you guys. <laughs> There you go. Isn't it so cute? So I got some containers for the cake. This is what the container looks like. And then it comes with the top as well. Let me show you guys. So this is the top. So it's like a little treat thingy. A little, little treat holder. So it's going to be trust not just cake with like the milk filling. And then it's going to have strawberries and blueberries. So you're going to see all the nice pretty layers and you can just put like a top on top of it. Now I have to go and get a couple of other things like candle holders and other like serving trays for the food. The next video I will show you guys how I actually decorate everything and then how everything actually looks like. So I'm very very excited and I'm very excited to show you guys. So yeah, I don't know where I'm going to go first so <laughs> let's just go with the flow at this point. Hello, hello. Okay, so I, first of all, I'm in my shalwar kameez today. <laughs> We're gonna go run some errands. I have to do um, some grocery shopping. And then I also have to stop by Dollar Tree to pick up a couple of things for the birthday party. I am super duper excited for the birthday party. So I'm gonna get a couple of things. Let me show you guys. So I have a list of everything that I need on my phone. Hopefully we can get everything. If not, we're gonna have to probably stop by a different uh, dollar store. But I am hoping the one near my house is pretty big. So yeah, let's go. This is like perfect. Like I want paper bags like this because the one I ordered from Shein are too small, but these are also too small. So something along the lines of this in a different color and bigger. <laughs> so not this. That's changing everything. I get a couple of bowls to put the snacks in. Not the snacks, but like the food. 
all right so we have these dishes so far we got two of these but we're gonna put um chocolate covered strawberries and pretzels in one of them and the other one is gonna be cake pops and then we got this big one for the cheesy garlic bread because it's a nice big size i feel like it'll fit nicely we have this big circle one for like the tomato um mozzarella sandwiches and like the mayonnaise sandwiches i think it'll be good so that's like a decent selection i feel like we have so this is the selection they have in terms of the paper bags for like our goodie bags but we obviously can't go with anything from here because these are all birthday party stuff and it obviously does not go with the theme and these ones are i'm afraid way too small like this is so cute and i love the white um i even like that little corally pink but these are way too small nothing is gonna fit inside here so we're gonna get these clear um they're called Wait, that one's back. This one. okay <laughs> they're called loot bags but we're gonna put like um our chocolate in here for the goodie bag they also have this with the golden but i don't know if i like that too much um because the theme is not really golden it's more like a pastel -y, pinky lavender pistachio-ish <laughs> and i feel like this is too, yeah like a pastel -y. so this is too um too golden do we need okay so i was also thinking do you see this like the basket bags we can put we can wrap the bags up like that but then that's not gonna have like the element of surprise yeah. i feel you know so we also need some candle holders for the table quite a selection here so there's these ones i don't like how like stubby they are but i think i like these ones here so this is a really nice candle holder and it's glass so i was thinking of getting like a couple of these and we can like space them out throughout the table the white i like the off-white much much I like better the better too because it looks like more old in time mm -hmm. so these are the glasses we came across these are like the champagne flutes and then this is like the wine glass or whatever like but we obviously don't drink so we're gonna put like pink sparkling seltzer water. sparkling water in it <laughs> um so i don't know which design we should get i think this is good because like more taller really right all right so let's grab those all right guys so this is everything we purchased from the dollar store i'm gonna go through them with you guys so that you guys get a vision of an idea of the vision <laughs> not a vision of the vision okay um to start off we have these candles and then these are the candle holders i thought they were super cute um and you can definitely use them for other parties as well and then we bought this for the chocolate covered strawberries and the cake pops and then we got this long one for the garlic cheesy bread and then we got the circle tray for like um the other sandwiches that we're gonna have and we purchased this so this we're planning on sticking it to like the back of these so to give you guys an idea we're gonna put this here and then you can take a tray and put it on top so it gives you like a little bit of an elevated look um so that there's different there's a bus going by so that there's different like heights to the table so everything just doesn't look the same you know we also got these flutes the champagne flutes for our drinks and if you come over to this side i got those um white paper bags those are going to be for the goodie bags for like the treats and stuff and then we got these beautiful ribbons to put on top of the goodie bag and if you guys i don't know if i told you guys this before but i'm planning on giving a bag all of the girls and i couldn't think of how to pack the bag because we couldn't find a bag big enough for the for the bags we couldn't find boxes either so we decided to go this route so as you guys can see these are little plastic bags that you basically put over a basket so what we're going to do is we got white tissue paper we're going to put the white tissue paper in the bag so that the bag is covered so you can't see through it and then we're going to tie this ribbon over the bag so it'll be like a nice wrapped up gift but it won't look ugly and it won't be um hold on i'm getting a phone call anyways so where was what was i saying baskets 
the baskets. Yes, so we're going to put the bags in the plastic bag and we're going to wrap them up in the tissue paper so you can't see through the plastic. And we're going to put these cute little ribbons on top of it. It's going to look so cute and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like once I have them wrapped up. But yeah, this is the haul from the dollar store. All right, guys. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, all right, so we're gonna start packing. This is the first um, bag. It's a really cute crossbody bag. So how I'm going to do this is we're gonna grab our tissue paper. Can I just rip it? Great. So we're gonna grab a couple of sheets of the tissue paper. Okay. So it's, oh, I don't like coffee. Okay, I think like this. I think this should be the way in. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of space out the tissue paper so that we have more room to work with. Is this too much tissue paper? I think it's too much. Yeah. I think this should be good. All right, so this is what we're gonna do. I've laid out, I think, four, five sheets of tissue paper, and we're gonna take the bag, put it right here-ish, and then we're just gonna grab the side. And like, this is too short, I feel. Yeah. Should we do put it straight? Like this? Yeah, straight is better. Oh, it looks cool. I don't think it's big enough. I think we have. Okay, change of plans. We're gonna make it a little bit wider, wider, longer. I don't know because it's not. It's like pretty much but it's like not fitting. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you see like this much. And we're just gonna space it out so that we have more tissue paper on the sides. We should just put this on the floor to cover it. Okay, now we're gonna put the bag in the middle. And then we're just gonna bring up the sides like this. Let me just stand it up. Yeah, I think standing would be better. Um, so we're gonna stand it up. Okay. So we have something like this. Oh, we have to put it in the bag anyways. Oh yeah. Oh my god, okay. We did all that for nothing. <laughs> let's put this aside and let's open the basket bags. Wow. Because maybe so what you don't get like how are we supposed to put the ribbon on? I was just gonna say, like Vita, do you want me to open the bag? It's so funny. Anyways. Um so this is the basket bag. Oh it had comes with this. Yeah, look a little pussy. Anybody put like that burning which is really good. That's good. Okay. Inside like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of tape so that you can't see the bag inside. Here goes the bag. The bag is small, so it's not like... Yeah. Okay, so this... This just looks like a big pile of garbage. It looks like a <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> it looks so bad. It looks absolutely horrible. How do we fix it? I don't know. You know what I think we should have done? We should have wrapped the bag first just in regular egg like egg slice of tissue paper and then we could have made the okay let's try that okay. we can try that ignore everything that you have seen so far um so what we're going to do now is we're just gonna wrap the bag first in the plastic wrap and the tissue paper so you don't see the bag okay we should have done this first but we obviously didn't so big I think flat could be good. Because they fit the little bit of the And then we're just going to do this. Rusty tie on the bag. Okay. So we're just going to tie it first. Oops. Here. Yeah. One loop. Two loop. Here. You have the weirdest way of tying shoes for those. Why does that? Oh my god. You don't have to tie shoes. Yeah, two, two. And then wrap them together and then pull it. Boom. Oh. That's such an ugly bow. What the hell is that? Kids, it's pretty bow. That's mm -hmm. so ugly. How do I make it pretty? Okay, hold on, let me try. We'll, we'll get back to that. Let's see if Anika can do it. <laughs> no, now I feel pressured. It's fine. Okay. So cute. Oh. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. It looks kind of stupid, but it's okay. It's, it's fine. Funny. I like the other bowl better. Which one? I like it the other way better. Like, like I like it like you do yeah. it like that? Like, like that, that? Or the other way like that? I don't know. Like this, this, this way, this way. I don't think it makes a difference, but I just like it this way. Yeah. Okay, I'll do the other one like this way then. Okay, it's gonna be pretty big, like in like... <laughs> So stressful. Oh, see, so now you just literally just cut around this. Yeah. Okay, now I think it's too oh. short, but it's fine. Mm -hmm. So this is okay. Let's clean this up a little bit. Okay, this is the final bag. Wait, we're gonna cut this off too, right? Yeah, we are. So this is a super cute little bow, and I'm gonna cut off the top. Let's pull it downwards. Okay, don't pull it too down. But if you have it too top, it's gonna fall flat. This is the final reveal of what the bag looks like. I think it's super cute. I don't like this too much. I think it looks kind of weird, but yeah, I don't like these sticking out. 
Um, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. This is the best we could have done. Yeah. Anika, you Wait. cut them both at yeah, the same time. I, I was just about to say, you know, look. oh my god, it's okay. look, it's okay. We, we have more. We have it. more ribbon. We can knife the ribbon. And I also, I want them very long. It. No, I want them very long. Oh. Okay, I, okay, we're gonna redo this. Cut this. We're gonna redo it and show you guys again. I know it looks ugly now, but just trust. I want the, the bows to be bigger too. Okay. Make the bows a little bigger. All right, guys. Finally, this is the reveal. The bow is super cute. The next ones we're just we'll just make them a little bit yeah. bigger from this side. It's okay. This is but I think it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> but I think the bows are super cute. I wanted them nice and long. Um, so we're gonna wrap the rest of them and then we'll see well then we'll we'll see you guys. <laughs> and then we'll show you guys what it looks like. So guys, this is what the bags look like. They look like a little bit too much on camera, but in reality, they are super cute. Um, and we tried to disguise as much as we possibly could to hide the fact that they're bags. Um, I think we did a good job because I don't think that you can tell that they're handbags. Um, but I'll show you guys pictures of the, the handbags that we actually got because I don't think I showed them to you. And I think they're gonna look so cute with the gift bags and with the pink ribbons on the back. I am now making the goodie bags. These are the goodie bags. And we're going to put one mini perfume with the She Glam and then some chocolate.